Hi guys! A fiber media converter is a device that bridges the gap between the fiber optic cable and traditional copper-based Ethernet cable, allowing for the extension of network connections over long distances. Today in this video, I'm going to dive in into the basics of a 90 watts PoE media converter. So please don't forget to hit that subscription button so you will never miss an update on our channel and the topic that we cover. And if you want to know more information, you can check out our website www.fastcabling.com. So a fiber media converter is a device used to convert signals between different types of media, especially between copper ethernet cable and fiber optic cable. It enables the extension of ethernet network by converting electrical signal to optical signals transmit it over the fiber optic cable, and then convert it back to electrical signal at receiving end. And there are few types of fiber media converter. And some support PoE, allowing for both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. And since some devices require high power to operate, like the PTZ camera or the wireless SS point, that's why high power PoE is particularly important. So now I'm going to move on to the demonstration board and show you our 90 watt PoE fiber media converter. So today we are going to connect to this PDZ camera and a wireless SS point using this compact 90 watts PoE fiber media converter. Now this converter can support up to 1 gigabit per second high speed data rate with plug and play installation. There is no configuration required. It can provide up to 90 watts of high power PoE output, but then it would need to add a power supply. This is the industrial power supply that act as alternative stable power source to AC outlets by generating DC power and it can provide continuous 120 watts output power. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So first let's use a short patch cord to connect our router to the MVR and then using another one to connect the router to our switch to provide data. Now this is an SFP transceiver. We'll need this because this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. And this is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable that you use and the connector that you use. So let's plug it into the SFP slot. Now this is a pre-made fiber optic cable and it's already 100% tested in the factory. It's using LC adapter and it has four string. So let's use string A. It has letter on each string. So let's plug it into the SFP transceiver. Here we go and we use string A. So this is a 300 meters fiber optic cable. It can provide high speed, low latency, and longer distance. Now let's come over to this side now. We have the media converter. It has a DIN reel mount, and all we need to do is mount it on the reel. Just like this. Or maybe I will show you after we connect it. And now, remember, we connect with string A. So this is string A, use our media converter to plug it into the SFP slot. In here, let's plug it in with string A. Now on the other side, we are going to plug in the Ethernet cable so we can connect to our edge device. Let's plug it in here. So in the back, we have the power outlet. Let's plug it in here. So now you can see the lights are getting on. And let me mount it on the reel. And we have other fiber optic cable for spare use. First, I'm going to connect to the wireless SS point.
and just wait for a little bit. We can see the indicated lights are on. So now it's getting power and it needs a few seconds to get the data also. Now let's try out the PTZ camera. Plug it in here. And they're all high power devices that can support PoE. So the video should come up soon. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video and this is how you connect it, the whole thing using the media converter and the power outlet. So now I'm going to give out some more factors that you should consider while selecting a PoE fiber media converter. First, power requirement. You should consider power consumption of your devices that connect it to the converter. And then choose a model that can provide sufficient power. Keep in mind this power source is not included with the media converter. Second, transmission distance. You should consider the maximum transmission distance because excessive cable length can result in signal loss or degradation. Third, media compatibility. You should consider the connector types such as LC or SC for a fiber optic cable and RJ45 for a copper ethernet cable. Next, speed and bandwidth. Now ensure it is capable of handling gigabit ethernet speed or higher like 10G to ensure fast and reliable data transmission. And for locations, ensure that the converter is positioned in a suitable location with proper ventilation and easy access for maintenance. And for cable choosing and management, you can use high quality fiber optic cable and copper based ethernet cable to ensure optimal performance and reliability. And you can also use cable tray or conduct to organize and protect your cable from physical stress, moisture, heat, or other potential hazard. And you should seek for professional help if needed. So don't miss out on this opportunity to receive expert guidance by sending us your questions through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you very much for watching.